Here we are in our example form 1040 populated with Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run examples and scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 and related schedules and forms on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, as usual, single filer, Mr. Anderson, no dependents, 100,000 in the W-2 income. And then we've got the 12,950 standard deduction getting us to the 87,050. Mirroring that on our equation over on in Excel, where we've got the 100,000, the 12,950 taxable income, 87,050, depending on the software to do the calculation on page two, that being 14,774. So we've got the 14,774 and then 15,000 withheld to get us to the 226. That's our general starting point we've been starting with. Now, when we're talking about payments that are coming out of the social security, normally that's gonna be people that are in their retirement years. So I'm gonna change the age here to put them into a time frame where it's likely they're gonna be getting social security benefits. Note that would be the normal expectation if they're in their working years, you would expect most of their income to be coming from say W-2 income, if beyond the working years, you would expect distributions possibly from IRAs, pension plans, interest, dividends, uh, in income type of sources, and then possibly, of course, the social security, our point of focus now. So now I've changed the income, the age. So, so now it's switched us over to a 1040 SR instead of a 1040. I'm still gonna go back to the 1040 because I think that's just an easier format or a more standard format if you've been working on the 1040s for a while to get an idea of what's going on. So it's a single filer. We've got the, we're born before uh, January 2nd, 1958. We've got the 100,000 that I left in the W-2 income. Although if they were retired, it's likely that they wouldn't have the 100,000 from here. It would be uh, in, in IRAs or pensions and whatnot. But the basic idea is that if we have that income that's over a certain threshold, then we're gonna have some taxable portion of the social security benefits. So if you're dealing with people that have significant amounts of income and they ask you, what's gonna happen to my social security benefit income? Well, you're probably gonna have to include it 85% of it in income. So if we have $100,000 here, social security benefits of 2000, the calculation is 0.85, and that's giving us the 1,700. That's gonna be the taxable portion. That's gonna be the general concept. If the income is fairly below a fairly low threshold, then you might be taxed at something or have include in taxable income something less than 85%. Now remember that 85% isn't the tax you're paying on it. That's the amount that has to be included in taxable income in order to then get to the, to calculate the tax on the taxable income. And then we changed our standard deduction because we're over the threshold 65. So let's go back on over here and say, all right, let's say that uh, we've got the income now and now we've got social security social security card income so that's like on page one so let's say that i'm going to add another line pension let's just add a few more lines here i'm going to insert some lines and then i'm just going to call this what what should i call it social security benefits social security sec security benefits something like that that's close the spell check should be able to figure that out and then i'm going to leave a couple spaces usually like two lines because you got husband wife is usually maybe we'll add an extra just in case there's some some weird scenario or something always weird scenarios these days i'll tell you what so we're going to say social security benefit payment was 2000 now you can kind of do the calculation here uh, and say it's going to be 85%. So you might, you might try to do like actually see uh, the calculation. So let's actually add a column. I'm going to add a whole column to this and push column C to the right by putting my cur cursor on column C, right click and insert. And then I'm going to add another kind of calculation here. So all this stuff doesn't need to be any special formatting down to here. So I'm going to say un, un, I'm going to get rid of the colors on those, but then down here, I'm going to add another column and I'll put like, normally it's 0.85, uh, 85%, 0.85. 
or maybe I put the 85, let's put the 85 like down here, 0.85, 0.85. And I'm going to make that a percent. And so then I'm going to say this is going to be equal to this times 85%. And so this would normally be something that you wouldn't have to basically uh, change. But you might because they might be a rate other than 85. And in that case, I'd probably be dependent on the software to, to do the calculation. And so then I'm going to say this is the total, total social security benefits summing that up to the outside sum it up por favor there we have it let's do the spell check that can't be spelled right if there's something if the spell check doesn't say something wrong there's something wrong with the spell check social security okay so then that should be included down here so i'm going to update that formula so now we're at the 101 700 pulling into page one boom this needs to be increased because they're no longer they're over the threshold to get an extra over the standard of the 1750 there's that bam that gets us to the 87,000 87,000 over on the tax return is there page two doing the calculation is now at the 14,763 so we'll say okay 141763 is there and 15,000 gets us down to the 237 so there's the general idea 